Hello everyone, welcome to Jumper Man Tech, and today we're going to focus on solenoid valves, what they are, and how do they work. A solenoid valve is an electrically operated valve that is used to control the flow of gases or liquids. Solenoid valves can range in complexity from a simple on-off valve to a four-way reversing valve used on heat pumps. This type of valve is most used to control the flow of gas or liquid in an air conditioning or refrigeration system. The plunger of the solenoid is used to lift the valve off of its seat. The valve is held closed by a spring when it's in its normal or de-energized position, and when the coil is energized, the plunger lifts the valve off its seat and lets liquid or gas to flow from the inlet to the outlet. The inlet is connected to the side of the system with the highest pressure. In this way, the pressure of the system is used to help keep the valve closed. If the valve is reversed and installed the opposite way, the pressure of the system could be enough to overcome the tension of the spring and lift the plunger off of the seat. This would cause the valve to leak. So let's take a look at the solenoid valve. Okay, just the cover for the electrical to power your coil. Okay. The reason there is multiple wires for this coil is because this can be wired for either 120 or 240 for this particular coil. The way I like to break it down is in two parts. Your coil and your actual solenoid valve. So the way this works is once your coil is energized depending on whichever voltage su uh, supply either 120 or 240 once, once uh, the coil is energized it creates a magnetic field and inside here is where that magnetic field is created which is on the solenoid valve itself so once we're energized, we create a magnetic field, and now this area is magnetic, magnetically energized. And what's inside here is a plunger, which is held down by a spring, as I explained. And once it's energized, it pulls up and allows liquid or gas or whatever it is you're trying to um, flow through this solenoid valve to freely flow through. So let's just go over this real quick power supplied, so, uh, solenoid uh, coil gets energized, we now I have a magnetic field around here, and I will show you guys the actual plunger. So we'll pull this out carefully. So here it is, try to zoom in for you guys. This is the actual plunger itself. This is in a closed position. Spring is being held down with the cap. And once it's energized, this actually just lifts up. You see the little hole right there? And that's it. That's what allows whatever it is you want to flow, to flow through. That was energized. Lifts the valve off the seat. That's how it works. This is held down by one screw. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos, and I'll catch you guys next time.